Nick, there were some reports that there were some loud booming noises. Now perhaps we know in large part why, perhaps uh, as a result of those U.S. Tomahawk uh, missile strikes. Yeah, it's not possible for us to confirm it at the moment in, in Tripoli. There certainly would be a number of uh, targets here. The former U.S. air base in the east of the city here um, houses not only some of the private jets owned by the Gaddafi family, but also uh, fighter aircraft and other military aircraft. Uh, it is the main military airport um, that is on the eastern outskirts of Tripoli, but it's not clear to us at the moment what may have been the targets of those uh, Tomahawk missiles. Right now, we're at uh, the compound of uh, Muammar Gaddafi's palace compound, Bab al Azizia, that many people here, perhaps a thousand or so, chanting slogans for him, expecting him to come out and speak. Uh, the pictures from here being carried live on state television is one of the uh, demonstrations that people are putting in place, or the government's organizing for them to put into pla in place to show that they'll protect buildings uh, and institutions uh, here in Libya. This is very much a government initiative to uh, show the people uh, solidarity be behind Muammar Gaddafi. And certainly nobody we're talking to here is aware of those airstrikes in the east of the city. But to be quite honest, the music uh, where these people are gathered and the shouting is so loud, uh, it's unlikely they would hear any anything uh, on the other side of the city. So, so that's euphoria. People are excited about what's taking place. Is that what this is a tantamount to a celebration? It, yes, it seems very odd. Um, in fact, the scenes that have greeted us on the streets this evening has seemed at a complete variance with what is happening to the country. The country is uh, is is facing airstrikes to implement the UN Security Council resolution to protect civilians. What we've seen on the streets. Uh, people waving their green flags, coming out in support of Muammar Gaddafi. We've perhaps seen uh, several hundreds of cars and several thousands of people. Of course, this is a city of two million, and we know for certain there are many people here that are anti-Gaddafi and are probably staying at home. But what the regime is doing is rallying people, uh, persuading them to come out on the streets. Many of them are telling us that they're coming out of their own free will with their families, to demonstrate, to show their support. And the images of this are being put on state television, a, a sign of unity, uh, which, which is what the government wants to mm -hmm. portray to the rest of the country, that the people are behind Muammar Gaddafi. But it's a tiny fraction of the population, uh, the population here. And it has, it has had some sort of a celebratory uh, feel to it, as counterintuitive as that may be with what the country faces tonight. But these people seem to have been sort of having a, a, what could only be described as a large street party here, Frederica. Mm. And, and so is it also true, uh, according to state television, that uh, there are civilian casualties that the government is now blaming on those missile strikes? Um, the government here was always going to take the position, if there were strikes, uh, that these were strikes against the unity of the country, strikes against the integrity of the country, uh, strikes designed to uh, reinitiate a, a colonial occupation of the country and that the government was always going to use whatever happened, uh, whether civilians were injured or not, to uh, rally people behind Muammar Gaddafi. And certainly, if uh, State TV is reporting that right now, the aim will be to unite people and to try and, 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 and essentially try and defeat and pull people away from the opposition, because if there's one thing uh, people here tell us that, that should unite people. It's the fact that there would be an outside force attacking the country. And we heard from Sadi Gaddafi, the Muammar Gaddafi, one of Muammar Gaddafi's sons, on state television, urging people to join what he called a jihad against the uh, 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 infidels' invasion of the country. This is the rhetoric that's being used here. And so it's, it's not surprising to hear the government is portraying uh, civilian casualties in these strikes. Um, where are you now, Nick? Are you out on the street? Um, we're, uh, we're in Ba'al uh, Zizia, which is the uh, presidential, uh, presidential, it's Muammar Gaddafi's uh, palace compound. It's, uh, it is a network of secure rings upon rings upon rings of uh, security that uh, is a very, very large uh, palace compound area. Uh, that's where we are. There was an expectation Muammar Gaddafi would come and talk to people here, but as I can see, the crowds are drifting away, mm -hmm. and that idea certainly seems to have gone away, and perhaps the root of uh, the, the reason that people are leaving is because they're hearing
Muammar Gaddafi won't be coming, and perhaps the reason for that may be, as we're hearing about these uh, tomahawk strikes so close to the capital.